Yo, 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 what is good YouTube? It is your boy Drizlax here at OG Talks. Here with another episode. Today I'm going to be talking about four microphone stands. Yeah, I don't really want to waste any of your time, so let's get straight into it. The first microphone stand is the Samson MD5. The second microphone stand is just a generic boom arm. The third stand that we have is the Blue Compass boom arm. The last one we have is the Rode PSA1. So let's get started. This is the one that I really wanted to work for me. I really wanted this microphone stand to be in my show a lot more. Um, I think it looks really cool. It has that real kind of like nostalgic factor, um, that kind of like David Letterman late night show microphone stand. The problem is, is that I talk with my hands too much. The vibrations just shoot through the microphone and it literally catches everything. Every time you put your hands on the desk, Every time you put your hands around the base, it just goes through the microphone, it records through the microphone, and it just ruins everything that you're talking about. If you guys don't talk with your hands as much, and you're not always, um, you know, you can control yourself, and you're not touching the base, this, that, whatever, maybe it could work for you. So that's the first one. So the next one we're going to talk about is just your average like band tripod boom. So you have your tripod which opens up on the floor and then you have the boom part. The best thing about this tripod boom is that it's very low key. If you want it in the shot, it's not really going to be dominating the screen. So while you're talking in the camera, you're not really going to see it all that much. The other great thing is that you could put it out of frame as well. You could put a microphone on there like the Rode Micro or something like that. You can have it from the front from where the camera's coming so you freeze up both sides of your arm. The best thing about this tripod boom is that it's really cheap. Like secondhand, I've even seen on Marketplace and Facebook, you can get these for 15 bucks. These things are absolutely everywhere and you can find them for a lot cheaper than these desktop microphone stands. So yeah, this one here is my absolute favorite just because it's not attached to the table price and it's not really that apparent in your shot. Next up, we're gonna talk about this blue compass microphone stand. So they do come in black, but a friend of mine painted this as a graffiti artist. And um, I just think that a lot of tech these days is really boring and just needs color. Part of me wishes that maybe we didn't paint this because when it's in the shot, you know, it kind of stands out a lot more. And I guess just black is a lot more muted and just not as obvious. But regardless, this is the stand that I wanted to love the most but I ended up hating. This thing is made for longer desks and when you need it to come in short it, it doesn't do what you want it to do. When it's set up like this it's just too short this way it's like it's too long this thing is always fighting you it has the best cable management though which is kind of like a positive and it looks it looks pretty good I mean you know this is I've seen this on eBay for like 400 bucks because it's in such high demand I just see so many people buying it and if I could go back knowing what I know now I would have never have bought this I would have just bought two of the road ones this desk lamp actually just looks like it's gonna break because this thing is always fighting you like I honestly think that it's just a matter of time till this cracks this puts so much crazy pressure on there I'll tell you one thing about this microphone stand if you have like high blood pressure just don't buy it if you get agitated easily don't buy it this thing here has been an absolute nightmare and it's just been sitting in the corner of my studio since the day that I bought it just picking it up right now actually aggravates me and agitates me so I'm gonna put it down the best thing about this is that wherever you put it it just stays there. It just does what you want it to do. Like anywhere that you put it, if you want it long, it's long. If you want it short, it's short. Wherever you put it, it's fantastic. Obviously it doesn't have the same uh, cable management as the Blue Compass microphone stand. So I can just move it from here over there very simple like i said it just does what you want it to do i would absolutely 100 recommend the road 
over the blue and the Samsung. The other good one, like I said, is the tripod that's independently on the floor. It can be lifted, it can be adjusted to however you want it. It's 45 bucks, which is fantastic. I really wanted to like the Samsung and I wanted to like the blue compass one as well. Um, I just, I don't know, sometimes things just don't work all that well and you find out the hard way. The other thing that I would recommend is just getting the Rode Wireless Go Pucks. They're absolutely amazing. The receiver is on the camera now, plugged into the microphone port. I have bought a Lavalier Go, which is especially made for these little pucks. They're, you know, they've got these little clips on the back of them. You can clip them onto things. You don't even need this part here, the lav part. So you can just, you know, clip this on and the microphone's right there. They just work. You can move around and do other things. You've got the signal just beaming back to the camera. It's recording on your SD card. You got no XLR cables and you don't have any of these big microphones and you don't have like the Rode Podcaster Pro. For $200, I can't recommend the Rode Wireless Goes enough. They're absolutely amazing and you don't have to complicate your life with all this other crap. You got your camera, your Rode Wireless Go, you've got your lab hooked onto your shirt. It's the easiest way possible. Also, if you're talking about products, you have all this free room in front of you to move your hands and do all that kind of stuff so i'm not even recommending that you buy a microphone stand i'm recommending that you buy the rode wireless go pucks and maybe a rode lab mic probably the best option in the world if anyone has any questions just ask me and i will 100 get back to you once again thank you guys for watching um, it means the absolute world to me subscribing and liking it helps the channel out until the next time that we meet a river ditch.